Hi everybody, it's Jane Storey. Welcome to my series on the 10 essential keys to mastering pressure. So these are taken from my new ebook, which is The Practice of High Performance. So this book's all about how and why you should develop a performance practice. So we know the mainstream approach to sports coaching is divided into mental game techniques or tips and technical instruction. So your performance practice is all about bringing the mind and the body together. So the first key, key number one, is about controlling your biochemistry because this is where it all begins. If your biochemistry is nearer to the relaxation response or even fairly neutral, then chances are you'll be able to release movement that's fluid, natural, effortless, and precise. But if your biochemistry starts to go into the red zone, it starts going into the stress response, your movement is going to fall apart. No matter how much you know about technique, and I see this with golfers all the time, doesn't matter how much you know about the technical and mechanical aspects of your sport, it doesn't matter how positively you think to yourself. If your biochemistry is going off the charts into stress response, the following pattern occurs. So stressful situation, let's say teeing off in front of the clubhouse. Your biochemistry starts changing a little bit. You go more towards stress. Those feelings of anxiety start in the nervous system and are very connected to your breathing, the way that you breathe and where you breathe from. But, you know, that's, a, that's another lesson. There's tons of stuff I've, I've put out on breathing and my book, obviously, Breathe Golf. But the biochemistry, the changes in the biochemistry trigger a whole series of events in your mind, body, your brain, your breathing. So you have this stressful situation, teeing off in front of the clubhouse. You start to feel anxious. That's the nervous system. That's the biochemistry beginning its work. You start to feel stressed. Then the mind, because the mind seeks coherence, with these feelings, the mind will come in and say, well, remember, John, last time you were on this tee, you really messed it up, or whatever it might be. So the mind's looking for coherence with those feelings of anxiety. That makes you overthink, try too hard, try to think about all those technical points your coach was telling you, think more positively to yourself, and just try that extra bit harder to get it right, and of course, Everybody knows that leads to disaster. So in this book, The Practice of High Performance, one of your first jobs in terms of developing your weekly or daily performance practice is to learn to recognize these states in your biochemistry. And I'm giving you certain principles and practices that can help you if you start to go into the stress response, bring it back, bring it back under your control so that you feel less anxious, the mind calms down, and then you can perform movement that's nice and fluid and natural. So head over to the website, download your copy of this book, and start doing your training.